nimesikia kahawa inaipiwa usiku ya kuamkia kesho wakati kahawa inaenda kwa soko nani alijua kahawa inaenda kesho ni nani alijua kahawa inapita inapita hii njia uyuki zinaenda kizumu so tusidanganyane tusidanganyane ya pili i have clear message from professor kitiki bwana sisi kwamba as we harvest our coffee now we provide 24/7 security to our coffee factories i want to believe you have those instructions and if you have not i have the same responsibility like the rural kidiki kwamba we secure all our coffee and if they are going to the market they are given armed security escort usiwe tu na professor kaawa na leo tumefanya hesabu ya ile gharama mkulima anapitia ile mkulima anatumia kujimudu kimaisha na tumekuja na bei ya shilingi 80 kwa kilo mesia vizuri how much ukivuna kawa yako upeleke kwa ile factory ya nyansiongo ama makwagwa ama marani ama nyosia una haki ya kulipwa shilingi 40 ikifika kwa mlango ikioshwa ikikaushwa iweke kwa kunia ikifika kwa mil unapata shilingi zingine 40 total 80 shillings within a month of your harvest tumetoka shilingi 20 mpaka shilingi 80 lakini kulingana na usimamisi wa mashirika usimamisi wa kilimo wa kahawa hii biashara na kilimo ya kahawa imesombora imesambaratika na ndio maana sasa tunaanza tukiwa Januari mwaka wa 2024 the second year after the president took office we now have set out and roll out a proper plan to improve and uh, and uh, and uh, to improve the farming approach in coffee tea maize and even milk coffee farming now is becoming profitable the price per kilo looking at the new york coffee exchange looking at nairobi coffee exchange coffee is no longer the same it's now black gold nigenda mkaawa hapa kisi ama kisumu ukienda ile mkaawa kikombe moja cha kaawa unauziwa shilingi 300 kwa ile mikaawa kama java na ile nyingine makubwa makubwa ukikuja kwa mkulima kwa hiyo kikombe labda anapata shilingi moja sasa ile mabadiliko tunataka kuleta ni kupunguza ile tofauti ya mwenye anakunywa kahawa, mwenye ananunua kahawa na mwenye analima kahawa iwe karibu. Ndio mkulima apate faida kubwa sana. Kupitia sheria mpya ambayo imeenda bunge ishapita baraza la mawaziri inaelekea bunge. Tumepeleka sheria mbili. Kuna sheria moja ya ushirika the cooperative bill is now before the house. And I want to tell any farmer, any cooperative officer or elected leader who engages in defrauding farmers or members, this bill that is before the house will sort you. Tunataka ukichaguliwa you are a public trustee of the farmers. Ufanye ikasi kwa ukweli. We are also limiting the borrowing Unajua ma, uh, wanashirika wengi walienda wakiomba pesa kila mahali. Zingine waliomba kuokoa wakulima, zingine waliomba kujitajirisha. Sasa tunasema hii stai hii tabia ya kuomba pesa kila mahali lazima idhimishwe na wa, wa, wana wanachama na pia idhimishwe na commissioner ikipitia account government because cooperatives are also devolved function so akuta kuwa tena na ile njia ya kuomba hapa kuomba pale unaweka deni na mzigo kwa wanachama Una, unajua wakulima kahawa hii yetu inapitia mikono karibu 27 
na kila mtu hapo katikati anakata yake mwenye analima shamba atambuliki sasa tunasema tunataka kupunguza hao wote mkulima anapata pesa kwa simu yake ama kwa account yake Tuko pamoja? Yeah. Sisi tunasema Hii soko letu la Nairobi Coffee Exchange Mahali kahawa inauzwa Imekua inasimamiwa na watu ambao Awajui kahawa inakana mnagana Unakuta ni wazungu Unakuta ni watu Awa hata majina ya kutamuka ni gumu Sasa katika hii mabadiliko Tumesajili kambuni ama shirika 14 14 unions have been licensed to represent farmers at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange This means the farmers will be aware when their coffee is going to the market when they are when it is being sold who has bought them and what for what price Samani ulikuwa unaopeana kawe yako na ujui imeenda na nani na italipwa lini. Unaomba Mungu ile siku itafika. Sasa tunasema among these 14 cooperative unions participating at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange muna uhuru wa kujiondoa kutoka soko kama bei ni mbaya au chakubaliana na mko na uhuru wa kukubali bei kama ni iliko juu. Samani mkulima mwenye kahawa hapo anauliza swali. Mtu anabeba kahawa, anauza kwa ile bei anataka, anakuletea tu ile pesa imebaki. 